Hello everybody, this is Joe Askins. I'm here with Mark Boyer. We're from YoChicago.com and NewHomeNotebook.com. Uh, we took a little trip down to Bronzeville today to an area that a lot of people know of as The Gap. Uh, but the streets that we're going to be checking out, which are Calumet, Giles, and Prairie, form a landmark district down here that uh, some folks might not know about. And right in front of us, this yellow brick uh, building that you see is actually a landmarked uh, Frank Lloyd Wright development here. It's called the Rollison Houses. It's at 3213 to 3219 South Calumet. It was built in 1894 and it was landmarked in 1979. According to uh, the plaque that's out front, these were the only row houses that Wright designed that were uh, actually built. Uh, it describes the facades as having steeply pitched triangular and rectangular bands of windows, characteristic of the English Tudor Revival style. Sullivan-esque terracotta ornament embellishes the spandrel between the second and third floors. It says that uh, this was built as, the, as an investment property for Robert Rollison, who was a grain merchant. The commission was one of the earliest received by Wright after he left Adler and Sullivan and the design apparently shows many of his early influences. So uh, here it is. We noticed that there's actually an empty lot uh, just north of it. Um, and then just south, it looks like there is a, uh, that'd be a townhome uh, right next door that is for sale. So if you were wanting to live next door to a Frank Lloyd Wright, you can come down here and uh, check out the place that has the Rublop sign out front. And once again, here's the uh, the townhome here, which I'm guessing is going to be the one on the southern side of the building uh, that is for sale. It's being marketed by Rublop. I don't have any information on the pricing. Can tell you though that according to the plaque uh, mounted on the front of the building, that uh, these homes date back to 1885. Uh, we wanted to come down here just to, again, take a look at uh, this small little landmark district. There is only one new construction development that we know of over here. It's a place called Landmark Square that's being marketed by Coldwell Banker. Uh, we'll get to that in a few minutes and take a look at that. But as you can see here, uh, the streets are going to be a mix of uh, some of these old uh, row houses dating back as far as the 1870s and into the first decade of the 1900s mixed in with uh, some newer infill type developments like the ones that you'd be seeing right now. Right across the street um, on the western side of Calumet here is the John J. Pershing West School. Uh, it's a uh, their large public school here, um, grades 4th through 8th. Uh, at one time was known as the Stephen A. Douglas Public School, according to uh, the sign up front here. There's a, a relatively new play lot uh, just south of the school, which you can see right up here that we pointed out earlier. And then, Mark, if you can pan around just a little more to your right, we're passing this. This is uh, the site of Camp Douglas, which, um, as the sign outside says, was both a training center for Union troops during the Civil War, as well as a prisoner of war camp, uh, where I think it said something like 6,000 Confederate soldiers died. Uh, so now you have this two-story building and a parking lot representing that. So we've crossed uh, 33rd Boulevard, still on Calumet. Um, entering a small area that, uh, according to the sign over to our right, uh, our right says Historic Douglas. Um, we're still in the Calumet, Giles, and Prairie District, and as you can see here, um, we have a lot of uh, row homes here that date back, in this case, to the 1880s, 1883 in this case. Over on the other side, we have some, uh, maybe a Greystone style home. We 
This thing seems really well preserved around here. Yeah, a very, uh, in this case right in front of us, a lush garden, you can see. A nice, uh, nice fountain. As we said, 1883 over here on our left. Not sure about this one that we're looking at right here, although it looks like it's divided into uh, one, two, at least two units, possibly more. Uh, I wanted to say that I saw kind of a multi box mailbox out in front of the front door here, so we may go into an entryway and it may divide up from there.